everybody, I'm Phil, and today we're going to do some cooking. Let's hop into it. So what we're going to be making today is some spaghetti. Now, I'm not going to sit here like the sh shoddy, we'll call it, I was almost swore there, Let's see if I can get through it out, but uh, internet recipes where they tell you a whole gosh damn life story behind it. There's no life story here, it's just cooking. This is the ingredients, carrots. Onions, pepper, garlic, some diced tomatoes in a can, paprika, oregano, and of course, some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This is for the sauce. Now, let's get into it. Bah! Of course, the onion's always a pain in the butt peel. Yeah, finally got it. Didn't, definitely didn't take 20 minutes or anything. Now, let's cut this without crying like I do every day. Now, what I'm gonna do is also do some garlic, of course, because if I didn't do the garlic, then, uh, well, I'd probably be shunned by all the pasta eating cultures of the world. Sorry, Italy, my bad. But anyways, we're gonna also grind up the carrots and the pepper into almost a sauce, and then uh, put it in with the onions and kind of get it all frisky and good to go. Yeah. I learned this cool trick from uh, the movie Goodfellas. Shout out to the gang. Uh, to actually peel the garlic, to get it really thin so the flavor really comes out of it. So we're gonna do that without cutting my fingertips. Uh, just like that. Juicy. Mmm, 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 that's good. So now we got all our veggies cut up and now what we're gonna do is we're going to start by frying these two, the onions and the garlic, and then get on to the pepper and carrots. So, let's grab our trusty, dusty frying pan, and uh, let's get to it. Mm. So now we got our little uh, Nutri Ninja. Um, interesting name, but we're going to grind up the pepper and carrot so it's a paste so it doesn't mess with the I guess the texture of it when you eat it so let's and then you mix it up a little bit you know get it cha, 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 cha. do it again and one more time Voila! My favorite type of goo. So now, before we move on to the meatballs, we're gonna get everything on and we're gonna get start simmering, you know? So we're gonna put the pan on, you know, just oil that up a little bit. Oh, right there, voila. So I threw some oil in the pan here, and now we're gonna throw the garlic and the onion. Oh yeah, you hear that sizzle? That's a good sizzle right there. Sizzle me timbers right there. And then we're gonna throw our goop in there too. So what I got here is venison from my gear I got this year. Uh, so we're gonna use this to make the meatballs. What else we got is we have sourdough breadcrumbs. Uh, I forgot to pick up sourdough bread, but 
This is sourdough bread as well, so it's gonna work. Parmesan, Parmesan makes everything better. Yeah, and then an egg. So let's get started on that. We're gonna first grind up the bread, throw it in, sauce her in like that, get her real tight if it'll close. Okay, it's being difficult. There we go, it worked. Anyways, let's grind her. And this doesn't work for this one. Okay, well you're back with the right container. Bam! So my lovely camera person informed me that uh, that is the old roommate's uh, container, so it didn't work for a reason. So we got the right one now. We got her figured. I definitely didn't get angry trying to pull off the top off the wrong container, but hey. <laughs> Do be what it do be. Anyways, let's get to it. Bam. Now, when making your own meat, you gotta go against the age old rule that you've been told, and you have to touch your meat. Throw that in there. Bam. Pound it up a little bit. I like to use my fist. Anyways, now we're gonna throw in our sourdough bread crumbs. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Then we take an egg. You crack one of these bad boys. Without spilling in shell. Hell yeah. I did it. Frig yeah. This is a good day already. And then Parmesan, because Parmesan again makes everything better. Right there. Now you just get in there and you start. Here, get close for ASMR. Come here, camera person. Now, it comes to the next part with the meatballs. You want to throw them on a tray. Now, be careful with the amount of egg you put in it because you'll get meat cookies. And even though I have a very pretty camera person doing the filming, the first date we were on, I mean first dinner, I made her meat cookies and she still stayed with me. So something must be good about these cook these uh, meatballs when you, well, even if you use the wrong ingredient. We're gonna throw some tin foil down because I hate cleaning these things. They're the worst. So, now comes the next part. Now, depending on what size you want, I try to make them all even with one test meatball. And that test meatball is how I determine if the meat is done. Now, you can use a meat thermometer, but I have done it enough times I can tell by just looking that it's done or not. I cook it all the way through. That's my main way of doing it. But anyways, it is venison, so you don't always want to be careful. First, first rule of cooking, don't poison yourself or it's not very useful. You don't get to keep it in your tummy anyways. I'm gonna finish rolling these meatballs. Okay. Now I'm gonna bedazzle it with the uh, oil, but if you look, I think you can guess which meatball is my test meatball. Which one do you think? Okay, next we're gonna open our diced tomatoes for the sauce. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, I'm just kind of doing this cowboy style like willy nilly so you might see me changing pots like a madman. Don't worry about it, the food's still edible. So there's two ways you can do it with diced tomatoes. You can leave them in the pan long enough and they'll, uh, they'll actually like disintegrate into sauce or you can blend them which is what I'm going to do because uh, yeah, because I feel like it right now. You know, like I said, I'm doing things on the fly. You don't even know what I'm going to do next. I'm crazy. Doctor Who up in this. So after this process and uh, cleaning up all the uh, tomato juice I dropped and cleaning it up quickly so that my girlfriend didn't behead me, I'm gonna blend it. Love you, Sumner. Oh, or I guess not. Oh, you know what it is? It's so full. Doesn't make sense. These pesky tomatoes, I tell ya. Now we can blend it. So now we're gonna pour our veggies in too to kind of give sauce a little bit, the sauce a little bit more flavor. So we're gonna put all these bad boys in there. Yeah. There we go. 
Think I got them all? Lovely. I'm gonna stir that in. So, I don't like to use too many spices, but we got some oregano. Throw that in. And paprika. Of course, I ruined the thing trying to rip it, but that's okay. Now, when I do my spices, I kind of eyeball it, you know? Kind of throw some in, taste it, see what it's like. You know, if you go little by little, it's way harder to mess up. I've got such fat fingers that they refuse to help me. There you go. Oh, yeah. You can just smell it. Smells pretty good. Now we're just gonna keep that stirring going and just keep it a little simmering and then we're also gonna throw in some Frank's Red Hot Sauce because I put that stuff on everything. God, it's so hard not to swear. Anybody who knows me, I would have had at least 17 swear words, but YouTube has these weird things, rules, guidelines, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, anyways, we're gonna sim let this simmer and stir it a bunch and maybe, hopefully, 20 minutes, it'll be close to where we want it. So we're filling it up with water because we're gonna get the noodles started. Uh, so this is really easy. What you do is you take water, you boil it, and you throw a little bit of salt in there just for a little oomph, you know, give that water some tasty tastiness. I think Sumner's still zooming in on my face. That's all right. Uh, BT Dubs, best ever apron. Jean Apron, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, change your life. Change your life, like, so much extra rooms for pockets, yeah. Like, look at this, I can put my whole hands in there, you can fit stuff here, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Anyways, we'll get back to you when we start mixing things. So, we're gonna drop some pasta, uh, well, spaghetti, technically, spaghettini. Spaghettini, oh, didn't know it was spaghettini and not spaghetti. I just learned that now, look at that. Look at that, I'm learning. So, there's a, it's hard to decide how much pasta you want, but I like to eat a lot. My girlfriend, you know, not as much as me, so I'd say this, and then I might throw a little extra in for me. Something like that. There you go, that's a perfect amount. I'll be able to eat all of that. Now we're just gonna drop that in, let it fall in, and then the best thing about these pasta containers is that they say how long to cook them on the back. So follow the instructions and you won't be surprised, as they say. Okay, so the timer's off, so we're gonna pour this bug around. Ooh, they get in there. Get in there. Look at that. Ah, the smell of Italy, I think. I don't know. Actually, no, it's not. Anyways, now, now we're done with that. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, now for the test meatball. Come here. So this is basically done. I'm gonna throw it in for maybe a minute longer, but that is cooked. That's cooked through. That's exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna throw that back in for one more minute, throw it in the sauce, and just let the sauce and the meat just keep each other going. That doesn't make a nun cry, I don't know what will. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna cook it a little bit longer. Probably like, Three minutes, I'd say. I think that's good enough. Until that's ready, I'm just gonna keep picking all this meat off before the camera person can get it. Mm. Mm. Okay, so now we're ready to serve. So we're gonna take spaghetti. Oh yeah. Oh, I just lost it all. Let's try that again. There we go. I'm a big boy, I like to eat. Now, my favorite part, the pour of the sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. Just drench it over. Mm. 
Make it look a little bit better. There we go, look at that. I'm gonna add two more meatballs because I like these meatballs. There we go. Oh my lord. Help me now. To top it off with its last little bit. A shit ton of Parmesan cheese. Damn it. This is our final product. Mm. I want to thank everybody for watching. The hat's going on because we successfully made dinner and um, yeah, hope you have a good one. Um, just keep on driving.